We are back with another five women try. We're actually sticking to one brand and that is Good American. So pretty and with these orange nails, okay? There's just so much room. It's almost like an old kind of vintage. Ooh, you got, ooh. I hate this so much. What's up you guys, welcome back to Clever Stop. We are back with another five women try. We are doing something a little bit different. We're actually sticking to one brand and one brand only, and that is Good American. Good American is known for their size inclusivity. They're known for their amazing jeans, so we're really excited to get our hands on some of these items and try them on for you. So we are gonna be letting you guys know how it fits, what we think about it, and give you our honest, honest thoughts. This is my first time trying Good American, so I'm super excited to see how all the pieces fit. So stick around to the end to find out which of these pieces is our favorite, and we may even end up like someone else's selection more than our own. So you gotta watch to find out, I don't know. And as always, all the links are down in the description below. But with that being said, let's try on these clothes. The first pick is mine. Uh, it is the sexy twist romper and I am obsessed with this. Honestly, the quality is so good. It's super wrinkly because it's been sitting in a box all week, my bad. The material is so soft. Um, I love how low it's cut on the sides. I love the slouchy kind of boyfriend feel. I'm wearing the extra small through extra large size category. It's like the zero to four size category, but then they do go up and I believe they go all the way up to five XL. So there, it fits a variety of sizes to really make sure that everybody has the opportunity to get that slouchy fit. I do prefer some of my clothes oversized, but this is just a little too oversized everywhere. I feel like you have to balance it either baggy on the top, tight on the bottom, and vice versa. Which, you know, it looks like it is to be oversized, you know, when wearing it, but like, there's like a lot of room in here. It feels so thin and so loose and so light that it almost feels like I'm naked, which isn't a bad thing. But you know, when you're walking through the freezer section at the grocery store, you may want something a little more substantial. That is quite a situation. I think it fits really nicely and the material is nice. It's like rubbery velvet. But just like the top layer of velvet. Like velvet is thick and soft. If you took off the thickness and just had the softness, that would be what this feels like. I don't know if y'all you can put that together, just hear me say that, but like imagine what rubbery velvet feels like. That's what it feels like. I can like do anything in this. I can mom in this. I can garden in this. I can drink in this. I can party in this. I can go out in this. Cleaning lounging, it's that perfect outfit. Or even like just like brunch with the girls or with the guys or like whatever in your backyard on your patio. Getting right out of the shower, bringing to the beach as a cover up. With a bikini underneath, anywhere else I probably wouldn't. <laughs> So I do like the details in this piece. I am wearing a full bra here, showing a little bit of cleavage, which I'm really into. I do think it is a little see-through and like I said, very thin. So you would have to layer it with something. Because like, just in case she's like, just a little bit nervous that something's gonna fly out because the back and the sides are open. Just a little bit of guard protection. The back is really cute. Beautiful halter. Um, I like this detail here. So definitely, you know, with a different kind of bra. I do think this is cool that you can like change these little scrunchy shoulder things, AKA straps. I don't know if that really does anything for the tightness of it. So if you wanna like look a little bit more taller, you can like pull them up. And I do think that the length is pretty, pretty good. You see my socks, it's long, like it's a good length. It could be maybe like a half inch longer for my liking, but, all in all, like it's not as short as I anticipated it. I like the idea of belting it. I should get a belt. A few moments later. I feel like this is an easy one to love or hate, like depending on your style preference. I just think it comes down to style. If you like this type of style, you're gonna love this. For me, I don't think it does anything for my figure. I think it just hangs there and when you're kind of like in a mid-size range, you don't really want that because it can just look really baggy. I don't think I'm a huge fan. I feel like 2X to 5X is just a huge gap, a huge difference. Um, I do like the fit and it, it's kind of hard to tell because this is supposed to be an oversized piece as is. I love the pockets though. It's $129. And if I'm gonna spend $129 on an item of clothing, 
and invest that much money, I wanna wear it all the time. And this is not something that I would pull out of my closet all the time. I do feel like for quality items, I do like to splurge. I don't think I would splurge 129 on this, but hey, maybe some people will. Can't win them all at, a, at Good American. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are in my pick. This is the Body Sculpted Midi Dress. It's $79, and according to Good American Sizes, I'm wearing the size one, which is their equivalent of a small. So I picked this dress mainly because there weren't that many options, but the sizes were still available. That seems fair. I really like that it's fitted. I love this like sage olive color. I think it's so pretty, especially on my skin and with these orange nails, okay? Yes, queen, yes, queen, yes, queen. Love the color. As soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, yes, I love that color. I feel like it's gonna be really good against my skin tone. The color of this dress is amazing. I think Drew nailed it. I like the goal of this dress. I think it's a really good version of one of these like bodycon tight dresses and it's $79, which I don't think is a bad price for this quality of dress. I wish you could feel it. Like, I wish, I wish we had touch vision so you could touch it. Like the stretch is amazing on it. It's really snug and comforting in a way. It's not tight, it's snug. Like this material is thick. Yeah, it is the thickest material I've ever felt on the dress. I'm wearing like the thinnest underwears ever and you can definitely still see them. It has a lining which is amazing, so you don't have to worry about it being see-through. And when I tell you it will you in, it's gonna you in. As far as the sizing goes for this piece, I picked a five, which equivalents to like a two X. And I probably could honestly size up. I know it's supposed to be a little snug, but for my personal preference, I'd probably want it a little bit looser. I'm not wearing a bra with it, but I feel like comfortable doing that because it is double lined. It doesn't really have much support, but I do like that there is a second lining. The nipples are showing a little bit. If you don't like your nipples showing, then you definitely would need to wear a bra with this. I don't mind it. And I would feel confident going out without a bra. I almost feel like having a strapless bra would almost show too much just because of this cut, which I love. I think this cut is gorgeous. I think it's very flattering in the back. It's almost like a razorback. So again, if you wanted to wear a bra, you could wear a razorback bra with it. The length of this dress is problematic for me because I know I say this all the time, but I have no torso, and so it just doesn't really fit the way I, I don't think it's as flattering on shorter people. That's my personal opinion. I do really like the length, not too short, not too long. I feel like it's literally just right. It falls just below my knees, which I think is beautiful. It's flattering. I almost wish it was like maybe a little bit shorter, which would give my knees room to like move and a little bit less fabric-y. But it is so soft and so comfortable. So it's really hard to not say that I love it. It's very versatile. Like you can wear this to brunch, you can wear this to a business dinner, you can wear this to work if you have a corporate job. I do think that you could wear it with a lot of different things like a jacket or sneakers. I have it on with boots. So it is a, it's a nice dress to have. Maybe you can put a belt on if you want this to be even more cinched or if you just want like a breakup of color. And then I would throw on a long black trench coat. I probably personally would not spend $79, but I do feel like it's very good quality. And I'm really interested to see how the pieces hold up, you know, over wash and wear and stuff like that. So it may be totally worth that investment. This is great. I'm really happy with this pick, Drew. Chef's kiss. This is the modern tank bodysuit, and I believe it comes in white as well. And it does retail for $89. I got this in a three again, which is a size large. I didn't realize slash probably didn't read the reviews and it has like a shelf bra in it. And I thought we left those at limited two when we like weren't like developed enough to wear bras. Um, I hate this. I love it. So much. I love it. <laughs> so much. This bodysuit is like sexy. First of all, it gives you all the cleave. Which I really think is what you pay for when you pay for the price of this bodysuit. And if you want like some side boobage, top and bottom, you can make it, it's achievable. The boys look good, I gotta say. Hot damn, this is freaking toit. So, so tight. Ow. <laughs> That's gotta hurt! <laughs>
As far as the sizing goes for this one, I did get a five, which is a 2X in Good American sizing. And I feel like it's spot on. It fits me very well. So soft, very much quality. Almost like compression. So you just feel like you're being like, like sucked in a little bit, almost like shapewear. The material is incredibly, incredibly soft. While I like that it sculpts and I'm not wearing a bra and it's so tight that it's making me look like I have boobs, which I appreciate, of course. I really don't think that this is very comfortable. It is just like really tight in this like band right here. This is uncomfortably tight. It's stretchy, but not too stretchy, which is really, I think where the problem is. I thought it was gonna be more like the Skims fabric that has a little bit more stretch to it. This is a lot more structured and I don't feel like it has too much give. The straps are like, they're thick, but then thin as you get up higher. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. I can't stop touching myself. <laughs> it is a thong, which is always nice because then you won't get like panty lines or anything but I feel like the size cut up super high and maybe that's just on me. It does have a snap closure, but I just tend to go in this way. <laughs> Much easier for everybody involved. This is a very fine body suit. It's classic, I think it's pretty comfortable. I like that the back is kind of like a scooped back. It's really cute. It's also got kind of like a retro vibe to it, which I really like. Well, dance it. So Chloe does give you these little pasties that come with it. They're mesh stars, as you can see, if you want to like put them on there. So thanks, Coco, but I'm good. What is up your ass? I could probably size up. That may help the shelf bra situation, but I would just like no shelf bra in my bodysuit. Um, I don't want that choice made for me. This is a thing that I would have definitely sized up for because I really do like the style of it. I like how like feminine it is as well. I mean, it's a really nice way to do a black bodysuit. Like it still looks really nice. Looks really good with jeans. It also, it makes, you guys can't tell because this is a skirt, so you can't see my butt, but it makes your butt look so good. Like high key, you could totally wear this bodysuit as a swimsuit, which I love, multi-purpose. The $89 price tag, and I kind of think it's worth it. <laughs> I mean, it's just a black bodysuit that like is sort of cool, but not like $89 cool. Probably the basic, simplest bodysuit you can get. But honestly, I feel like it's a staple. Well, everybody needs a staple, just like neutral color bodysuit. You know, like a black bodysuit, a white bodysuit, maybe a gray one, and you call it a day. I would not spend $89 on this. I believe you can find other ones that are more in your price range, that fit you better, that don't come with the shelf bra. I just don't know if I would like wearing this for, for hours, you know? Also, I haven't shaved my armpits in like 17 years, so don't zoom in. And I just don't know that it provides that much value, other than the boys looking good, which honestly might be worth $89 to someone. Good pick, Bridget. This next number is my pick. These are the bombshell shorts, and they are $119. I just love a good pair of ripped up shorts. They are a little big though, guys. Like, mine are a size six, and I was supposed to get the size four, so they're just, they're like a little too. Maybe these are meant to be maybe more of a boyfriend style. There's just so much. They don't fit, clearly you can see, but that's okay. You have to try a lot of pairs of jeans on different websites to find jeans. And just because you are one size does not mean you're gonna be the same size in a different style. I am noticing that like, while it fits really nicely everywhere else, I do have a slight gap, which is honestly not surprising. This happens to me at a lot of different stores. But that's okay. I still like them. Just damn, I'm kind of really bummed about that. Oh, I wasn't sure what to expect when I pulled them out of the box, but on, they are so freaking cute. The fit, the high-waisted fit is so perfect. I love the wash, it's soft. This is a really nice uh, feeling, actually, comfortable-wise, and it's really like, you can really do a lot of things in this. Not like you're sitting around doing this all day, but maybe you are. If you are, these are great for that. They are a button-up situation. Which apparently this one make it really hard for you to go pee if you gotta go real bad. Maybe it's cause like zippers break all the time. I don't know. I don't know the logic, but I just noticed that there's a pattern here. 
I think they are really cute. I love the high-waistedness of them, so if they did button, I bet they'd be really cute as a simple summer outfit. It is so comfortable. It's not too short, it's not too long. It's kind of somewhere in the middle that just, I think, would look good on everyone. I like the length of these, especially in the front. I do like that it's still a little bit short in the back. Um, and it fits really nicely and it's, I feel like it's really flattering and it actually like accentuates curves. It's a lot of distressed, but I mean, I feel like that's kind of perfect for summer if I'm being honest. I do feel like after like a few washes, it's gonna like tear off. And then at some point you might get really high slits in your shorts. Update, so I found a size four in my box. Thank you to our producer who put both sizes in there. So this is how the four fits, which is interesting because it's still, it's still looser than it should be. Like in normal sizing, there is no way that a four would be loose on me. I don't know, man, get American. Like I had such high hopes. This is kind of doing me dirty. It's not really stretchy, which is interesting because it really did mold to my body for a pair of jean shorts that aren't stretchy. I was pretty shocked by that. I wouldn't want to size down just to get the waist to fit because I like the way it fits on my thighs. Um, it's still nice and tight. It's not skin tight, but it's nice and tight. Maybe I would size down and hope that they would stretch out over time just because I really I really do feel like the waist is a little bit too big for me. Perhaps if I got the correct size with this type of material, they would be worth it because like, look how cute this is. Like so cute, right? But yeah, I can't really help with these except don't get your regular size. If you're going for like a tight, almost like Daisy Duke look, then size down, I guess. I'm confused because everything else has been fine this sizing. I don't know why this is being funky with the shorts, but okay, girl. So I picked these Good Flare Deep V jeans. They were $149, which is pricey. So I was expecting a lot. The bar was set pretty high. These were also listed as high rise, but I feel like they're definitely a mid rise which is blasphemy. I mean, it's fine if you like mid-rise, but if you market it as high-rise and you show up with the mid-rise at my door, I just, it's an immediate return to Senda. How dare you? My belly button is right here. So I like the fact that they're like kind of mid-rise. So if I do want to wear a crop top or something, it's not like cutting me off. They're really soft. I like the wash of these. I just, wow, I really like these jeans. In Good American's jean sizing, they do a size of double zero to 24. So you would just size those like you do, you know, your regular jeans. There's a little stretch to them. And I feel like they're very true to sizing, honestly. I think that this is a perfect fit for me. It has like a more like jegging vibe than the shorts did, which the shorts were very much a denim vibe, but still kind of contoured to your body. These just feel like fake pants, which honestly I might be into coming out of this whole like staying at home type of thing. Sweatpants are all that fits me right now. This is the stretch. This is the shaping. This is the sizing. This is the color. This is everything I wanted every other piece of Good American to be, and these are it. I've already ripped the tags off. I'm keeping these. These are freaking amazing. Here's how you know that the short sizing is weird because this is the exact same size. This is a zero slash 25. It is a lot tighter in the thigh area and it fits my waist just fine. I'm wearing the size four slash 27 and it's perfect in the jeans. So I think those shorts may have just been the only thing where the sizing was weird because everything else has been perfectly fine. So love this. I'm not loving these. The wash is kind of a weird color. It's not light blue. It's not dark blue. It's kind of this in, doesn't really know what it wants to be blue. It does look vintage. But it's not in like, oh, this is a cool kind of way. It's almost like an old kind of vintage. Like, ooh, you got, ooh. The zipper is busted on these jeans, which is such a bummer because these might have been one of my absolute favorite things I tried on today. The zipper does not go any further down. You see this huge gap right here? And I might have like popped a couple seams trying to get it over my butt and my thighs just to like put it on. But yeah, that's a huge bummer. The money shot is the back of these jeans, guys. Like, my butt's all right, but it has like this deep V situation and I feel like it just really makes the booty pop. And it cuffs my butt. Is it doing it? Can you tell? These are so flattering. Like, who is she? And they have just a simple, simple cut in the knee, not too much. I think that gives it like 
a fun flirty pop of the knee there. I just prefer my rips and my jeans to be like right on the knee, if that makes any sense, but that's just like a really small detail. It is also too big. I would have to probably size down in order to have the waist fit me. This jean was supposed to be with like tummy tucking technology, whatever that is. This one actually fits like the way I would expect a size 25 to fit. I think they're freaking cute. I love like a good bell bottom, obviously. I like the color of these. These are amazing. It's just a real freaking bummer about the zipper. Makes me want to go to like a skating rink and put on like a colorful psychedelic crop top slash bathing suit top with these jeans, put my hair in space buns or have my full fro out, some colored glasses and some like strobe lights, like neon lights, you know? Are you with me? That's the vibe. <laughs> and again, the length is great if you're a little bit taller because I feel like personally with these, I'd want to wear a small block heel or maybe some booties in the fall with a sweater. And I think the length would perfectly cover the shoe the way you want it while still a little bit peeping out so you can see it. I think this is going to look good on probably everyone. But again, I just, for me, I would probably not buy them again and I would not spend $150. And I know that might sound a bit steep, but I feel like there are some essential items that you need in your wardrobe because honestly, these will probably last for so many years and basically they're just paying for themselves. I would say if you wear flares all day or a day, that money is well spent. And flares are freaking cute. I love them. I love the vibe of them a lot. Yeah, these are gray jeans. Good pick, Erin. Okay, let's see everybody's favorite of the day. And of course, if you liked any of these selections, we will be linking all of them in the description below for you guys to shop. And if you like what you saw, there is way more fashion content where that came from, so click right on over here for even more clever stuff.